a critical value might or might not represent a local extrema. How can we tell? Let's sketch a few local extrema. So in terms of critical values, there's a critical value there, 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 and there. And all of these critical values are local extrema except for this one. Here the tangent line is horizontal, so the derivative is zero, but it's not a local max or a local min. Let's investigate this in terms of the derivative, bearing in mind that when a function is increasing, the derivative is positive, and when it's decreasing, the derivative is negative. So we've got positive derivatives here, 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 and here. We've got negative derivatives here, here, and that's it. So notice that all at all four of these local extremas, the derivative changes sign from positive to negative, from negative to positive, from positive to negative, from negative to positive. Here, where we have a critical value but no local extrema, the derivative does not change sign from positive to positive. This is an example of the first derivative test. A critical value is a local extrema if and only if the derivative changes sign at it. And we can do better than that. Notice that at both of these local max Summa, the derivative goes from positive to negative. At both these local minima, the derivative goes from negative to positive. And that is part of the first derivative test. If the derivative goes from positive to negative at a critical value, it's a local max. If it goes from negative to positive, it's a local min. And then if it doesn't change sign, it's not a local extrema. We'll do examples of the first derivative test as their own video.